Are we good? Should be good, boys. Should be good. All right. Uh, new location, same story. Where am I? Where are we? This never happens. Ugh. All right. Um, as per uh, the, the current usual, we are, these are blind. These two don't even know what they are. And um, I have uh, never opened these, so. That's uh, true. I don't know what these are. Yeah, it's true. No, you actually don't. You think you do, but you don't. Yeah, hmm. how about that? So, um, let's do it. Uh, Rick will be spitting today. It's a little That's contrary to normal. <laughs> now see, that, oh, that Cody. Can leave in, Cody. It's the innuendos that are okay. Mm. You just come out and say. <sighs> Expletive deleted. <laughs> now, see, now we have a cut. Cut. Okay. Not, I have the stomach a... of a seven year old man, so. Yeah. Darn all ulcers, you know? All right. Left or right? <clears throat> Left to right, eh? Let's see. Indeed. I drink my bourbons like I. How's that? From left to right. Huh. From left to right. Almost a hint of butteriness at the beginning. Mm. A lot of corn. Like corn, like corn field. Caramel. Brown sugar. Yeah, I was picking up those sweet notes. A little pepperiness. What do you detect, Cody? Anything we're missing here? Pretty much the same. Maybe like a hint of... Like... Cinnamon or nutmeg, but just barely. Yeah, that's very pleasant. That's like a good depth to it. That's not too hot, um, but <clears throat> a lot of spice and flavor or aroma rather. Like caramel corn with pepper and nutmeg. Yeah, not detecting the butter too much anymore. I think that was just my nose readjusting. It's not. It's not. I don't think that's uncalled for though, because this is kind of like rich. There's something savory about it. Yeah, All right, maybe so. that's the word I'm word I'm looking for is savory. It's a nice mouthfeel. I think that's really good. Gosh, how long has it been since I had a bourbon? <laughs> is this the first sign of alcoholism? <laughs> How's it going over there, Rick? It's going a okay. Get a little bit of char to it. Probably like a burnt brown sugar that goes toward it, like gets burnt enough that it gives a little bit of a char aspect. Yeah. And then some of that corn mixed with the I can get I can I can get the little bit of the caramely I don't not sugar but you know the sweetness but a lot of, yeah a lot of char in there I, I like it. Took like a big cornflake, a little bit, just like a tiny little drizzle of like burnt caramel and then cracked black pepper. There's something way in the background that's a little floral. Um, oh, yeah, as I say, like a little bit of like rye spice, not necessarily straight dill. Yeah. But mm. a little bit of rye. It's like rye and black pepper and corn and. Caramel. I enjoyed it quite a bit. I really like that one. Yeah, I do too. I'm trying to find some color in these. I don't know. Uh, at least from my a little darker. Does it look darker to you? The first one. The first one. Yeah, I think it does. It's like a little Not by much, but the, it's like a little more coppery. The last brass. two, yeah, the last two are more similar in color. Maybe a little bit of honey. Like cooked honey on a cornflake with some rice spice and black pepper. Do you like it? You, you paint a complete picture, Cody. No one can take that it's against you. Pretty Always good. Me. And yeah, like a slight little bit of floral. All right. Okay. On to B. Let's see. What kind of sense we get from this. It's like more like candy sweet almost. Look at that, like a buttery sweetness. This, well, what I was going to say, I said buttery. This one to me is like a butter triscuit. Like, That's a good a description. 
crackeriness to it. Biscuity. You more like a like a buttery birthday cake, kind of like. Well, I was gonna say some vanilla, mm, sugar cookie, or yeah, yeah, like sugar, like a buttery sugar cookie with the icing on top. Yeah, I think that's where I'm at with the smell. I'll go with you on the icing. I'll stop short of saying cake-like, but um, to me, there is a like a vanilla. It's a yeah, kind of a granular sugar birthday cake. To it. We got it, Ricky. <laughs> I mean, Congratulations. I don't know. It'd have to be a, it's like an a unusual cake that had no... It's like it was all frosting. Sweet frosting batter kind of smell. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the Balcones, the single um, the single malt that we did. Yeah, it's very sugary. There is, there's still kind of a biscuitiness at the front. It's like bready, and then it goes mm -hmm. into more sweet. This is really different from the first one. Mm -hmm. Sugar plum and like, you say it's say definitely it's like, more proof, right? Like, uh, it seemed it seemed like um, easier to. You're probably right. I, I don't know if I've, in my uh, inexperienced, you know, it just seemed like it was not as harsh as the first one. But then again, maybe I was just because that the first bourbon of the night. So. You're probably right. This one seems less spicy too. It's like sweeter. There's no peppery kick to it, which yeah. would amplify the heat, but. I think you're right. Like the heat's also not as as prevalent. I dare say watery, but it, it has a lot of flavor, so that's not as bad as it sounds. Yeah, uh, yeah, it, it, the flavor is strong, but it's not as complex. I don't think as the it's not as first thick. one. It's a lot. Yeah, um, runnier. So yeah, I <clears throat> so, like can't quite. Hmm. Put my finger on what baking spice I'm getting. I don't know that it's cinnamon or nutmeg. Not sure. It's kind of a brown sugar to me. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it's Something like maybe good. like a like plum and like a little bit of plum and then a little bit of icing and then maybe a little bit of uh, cinnamon. Not quite, but almost bitter aftertaste to it. The second one. Yeah, not much. It's like a two out of ten. Hmm. Okay. On to three. All right, here we go. Mm. The hell is that so like? That is uh, chlorine. Cool chlorine off the top. This is not the first time I've mentioned it. It's like tree bark. It's like it's like a petrichor, like rainy day smell. Is that dill? I don't know. I don't think so, but there there could be rye aspects to this. I'm trying to like sourdough maybe, or definitely not sweet at all, in my opinion. Wow, that's kind of fascinating though. Like, in, in the, give it a long sniff, and it's like it, it, there's a lot of depth there actually. Like a slight like herbal wintergreen smell. Uh, mixed with like an earthiness. Definitely, definitely herbal. Definitely earthy. It's like, it's like yeah, it's like it's like dirt and bark mixed with like slight like not quite mintiness, but like like a winter greeny sort of. A little pine needle. Like, yeah. This is really cool. It's really cool smell. Honestly, it, it it's almost off putting at first, but. Start trying to like deconstruct it. They're like earthy, earthy you. and herbal. You've been spitting into the I, pot over there. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you close up on me every time I do it for the video. That'd be funny. Can't waste that comedic moment. Mm. Front palate, not real pleasant for me. It's real earthy and. Same as the smell, <laughs> but a little bit more puzzling and off-putting in the palate even. Wow, this is one of the strangest ones I think we've done. I'm not, I'm not ready to say it's bad. It's just, it's, it's like so a, wet at the front. It's like a candy cane wrapped in tea leaves dipped in <laughs> dirt. And like, I don't want to say, like, I know what you mean when you're saying dirt. I don't want to say, you know, it's not bitter like dirt. It kind of sounds like bad, but it's not. It's to me, it's like it's just like a wet weight in a wet rainforest. It's like such a strange experience. It's 
it smells wet and it also tastes kind of wet. And then it goes into just a little cinnamon at the very end. It's actually a surprising amount of heat that shows up too. It like, yeah, it like it's deceptive. Like you don't taste it at first. It's like wet and not that flavorful at first. Then all the flavor shows up. And then at the end, there's a big heat explosion. So I don't know. This could be a nut type fruit one too. <clears throat> It's like you licked a candy can and then you licked a coniferous tree branch. <laughs> you like the, the, like the, not in a bad way, but like the earthy dirtiness of the, like the branch itself, but also there was like a pine needle that you graced too. <laughs> With a little cinnamon like at the end. You need to find someone like I went out that can like do a little doodles of your images. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That'd be funny. Yeah, not for me. I get a little, okay, this is going to sound weird. I get a little popcorn somewhere in the middle there on the fourth try. Or it's, it's more like a kettle corn because it's not yeah. salty like that. So. There's yeah. part of me that wants to say something about this is like kind of rich in a way. Um, but yeah, I'm with Cody too that these are, it, it's, er, it's earthy and herbal in a way that's like, um, hard to categorize. It's not necessarily rewarding you with like a sweet bourbon flavor, like caramel or something traditional. Mm -hmm. um, comes off really, by far out of this group, the strangest. Probably one of the strangest ones we've ever done. Um, so it's yeah, a little hard to hard for me to put my finger on. Yeah, and also to say, uh, and also as far as the wow. palate goes, like, do I want to drink this? Something that tastes like this, like. Not as much as a, just a good tasting bourbon. So, okay, I got I got a big whiff of wheat smelling on this last one. The, <clears throat> like after tasting that one, I almost got like a little bit of like copper penny taste hmm. at the very like back of the the tongue after I'd already finished it. It's not wholly hmm. unpleasant. Just anyway, um, not my particular cup of tea. Okay. Not that's so, bad. But... Well, is it not your particular cup of bourbon? <laughs> Alright, cool. Let's go back through. Well. Are you starting from the first one? I'm gonna go we'll go back we'll snake it three to three back to one. I'm not getting much on this one now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, it's just, it's super earthy. It smells like mm -hmm. dirt. Twigs, you know? Yeah, little twigs and leaves. I'm getting a little like, yeah. pretzel off of it this time, but to go with that stuff, though. Yeah, it's like, it's like you, it's like a you're a kid in the playground, and it's mm -hmm. like no grass on the ground, but it's just kind of like, you know, dirt. Yeah. And and you took like a, like a, some kind of coniferous tree with the pines, and you were just like breaking twigs, and you dropped it down the dirt, and you were like... <laughs> And then, like, maybe somebody dropped, like, a little tiny piece of peppermint candy. Or, yeah. Mm. I still smell... I, I agree with you almost completely, although I also smell dampness that I mentioned before. Like, there's something, like, it reminds me of just petrichor in this. My God, if that isn't strange. I mean, it's definitely layered. There's a lot of stuff going on, but, like, it's all... Writing it, a lot of it down on a piece of paper is going to look negative. <laughs> a little bit of dirt. A little bit of... Um, Chalk, even. I think Cody says peppermint, something like that, or, or maybe cinnamon. Like, like the, I think there's a little cinnamon in it too. Did you, did you guys ever go to the zoo and they gave you the gum that had no flavor, uh, like flavorless gum, no, I guess it's or something? But it, yeah, it's supposed to be like how it is for, right off the tree or something. Right. I, That's kind of what this tastes like no, to me. I, I've, I've never been fortunate enough to have the flavorless gum, but I always wanted to <laughs> chew on it. Kind of reminds me a little bit of that. At least parts of it. There are, there's flavor in other parts, but... Yeah. Alrighty. Let's see what we got. I don't remember what this one smelled or tasted like anymore. This was the cake, yeah. sugar mm. cookie, confectioner's sugar, or powdered sugar. Mm -hmm. Plum root beer. I want to say there's a little marshmallow. You get plum, like just a little bit. 
Mm-hmm. Like that was the first thing you said. Like you added it into like a big thing of something else entirely. That it's like you put confectionery sugar. You just dipped plums in confectionery sugar. I don't know if I get it like that. I mean, like you know what I'm saying. Like, like you said, I don't think I necessarily get as much like root beer. But it's like if you had like a little slice of it, you drop it in root beer, you'd like get the flavor. But it wouldn't be like, oh, I ate a plum. It's like a. It's like a, you made like a. Um, we made like a cake, like with, zest or something. With, or... Yeah, with like a little bit of plum, it, like infused into it. Yeah, and like with icing and maybe like a cinnamon or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not like it's not like biting into a plum. You know, it's a pretty sweet, juicy flavor. And it's not obviously it's a bourbon. It's not gonna taste like that. But it's like yeah, it's like and brown sugar. A, uh, you know, it's like Wonder Bread. You know, it's like it's something. Mm-hmm. There's bits of it in there. Yeah, it's like it's a it's a plum flavored cupcake with <laughs> vanilla icing sprinkled with some brown sugar on top. How about that? One marshmallow. Uh, one, little, one little hot cocoa sized marshmallow. I don't want to make a fool of a man in his own house. <laughs> yeah. And have his house have to look at. Remember it. whose roof are under, Cody? <laughs> Remember who has the power and authority to kick us out on that. I definitely get brown sugar though. Oh, yeah. Brown sugar too. Definitely. Um, Okay, so we're pretty much where we left it. So let's go back to number one. It's been so long, number one. I got a a little bit of like fruitiness off of it. I feel like I get like like a pineapple, maybe even. I jumped right into the sip. Hmm. Mistakenly. I can see that. Maybe. Or maybe, maybe some it's kind of like acidic pineapple or like uh, a stone fruit, like maybe like a pear or something. Pear or pear pineapple. Fruit. You're a stone butt. <laughs> 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 or peach. It's like a peach pear or a, or a pineapple, but I'm not sure. Somewhere. I could see a corn. Too. Yeah, yeah, this is the corn one. It's, it's got like that slight, like maybe not a strong pear-ish flavor off of uh, mm. Eagle Rare. Mm. Like he took an ear of corn, but maybe sprinkle a little bit of uh, pieces of caramel on it, and then <laughs> took out and then took out a, a, a like a slice, like a potato slicer, and some pears. Slices onto that same ear of corn. <laughs> I'm leaving this up to you guys. He's, Find an animator. He's a rookie of it. Yeah. I just see like an ear of corn, sprinkle pieces of caramel on it, yeah. and like just fall on the patch. <laughs> then like then you create piece of pear. It's just like <laughs> then what you're left with is an ear of corn. <laughs> see, Ricky, here's what you do: you take a piece of corn and you drizzle it with caramel. And then you squeeze a little pear juice on it. See, <laughs> see, that's a little more feasible. You get yeah. some for people to visualize here. That's not bad. This is so very easily the most spicy of the three. Yeah. Yeah, I just get more fruitiness this time around, at least in the smell. It's the hottest of the three. Yeah, I not think quite the wall of the flavor it was the first time, but it's still, to me, probably the most flavorful. Now you do still get that. I think it, I think I want to say pear, like honey pear. It's hard to like truly, I've heard people say like pineapple and stuff, but it's hard to truly get that on the bourbon. I mean, it's such a yeah. pronounced. Yeah. You can get like a, pine, a little it's bit of a tart. pineapple, a few drops of pineapple syrup, you know, without going full. Yeah, it's not, I'd say like a syrup or something more, not like an actual, cause I always think of actual pineapple where it's like really, you know. Acidic and like mm-hmm. you're not gonna get that Flushy. off of this, but like maybe sure. like a or like you get a can of pineapples and you have like the juice that's right. like not actually fresh, like yeah. something like that. I think. But I, I definitely What's have to the... add to that the pepper and yeah, the rice right. spice. Yeah, that, come, that comes in especially hard at the end. Um, yeah, I wouldn't even say that. The... They're still getting the like char. I'm getting. I think like towards the end, of course. Yeah, even before it hits my tongue, I'm, I'm getting a whiff of something burnt, and then 
um, it carries through to the end. It's not, I wouldn't say so, it's like, it's not like, oh, this is, we've had plenty of bourbons that taste. You got to complete the visual, Cody. <laughs> Sitting in a, in a charred wooden cup. Yeah. The syrup and the pears. And the, <laughs> and the spice, exactly. whatever the spicy Black pepper. pepper on it with a big, you know, a few stalks of rye. <laughs> <laughs> in this tiki cup of It's cocktail. very complex. I mean, you took a slightly burnt big cornflake and then you drizzled it with just a little teensy bit of honey. Mm -hmm. And then you went drip, just one little drip of that pineapple pear juice and then you sprinkled a co concoction of rye spice and black pepper on it. All right. Because it's definitely, uh, the fruit, the more, still, I still get it on the aroma, but mm. the more I taste it, it, it it's kind of more of a background, but the much bigger players are the sweet corn honey but i don't know that that's necessarily maybe caramel um but it's mostly like the black pepper rice spice and sweet corn i think are the main things it's got a good uh it's got a good mouthfeel it's pretty viscous and it's medium uh to medium like thick yeah it's just um indistinguishable rice spice mixture not necessarily straight to do corn but not like straight up corn it's more like a process like so i said corn flake i don't know it's like oh yeah and also corn flakes are cooked so there there's a little bit of a you know a burnt aspect to them it's like you had like a honey corn it's like a honey corn flake or something yeah mix with rye and then like somebody sat it next to that pear pineapple juice now normally at this point <laughs> we sit here and we ab for a while um, I'm necessary. ready. All, I'm all re Yeah, I think we're all probably. If I had to guess, we're all going to get the same rankings. But yeah. um, we could just jump into that if you guys are ready. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm ready. I got you know what my ranking. Is yeah, okay, I do too. Good. All right. I'll, all right. Or, go ahead. I'll go second. Okay. Um, order best. My favorites one, then two, then three. Same. Same. Wow. Is, is this the first unanimous? Like for it, all no, it's not the all. first unanimous, but it's the first this quickly. Okay. I do like it the first one. That's it. Yeah, that might be one of my favorites that we've done so far. A lot of complexity in there and a lot of sweetness, a lot of bitterness. Just a whole lot going on. Spiciness. Two is just yeah, not as uh, not as complex more sweet and it'd probably be one that I'd actually like <clears throat> spend money on and buy a bottle of if I were to buy a bottle of any of these three. I know it's like seems like wait but you graded one you like one so much more so why wouldn't you buy a bottle of one but I think just the ease of drinking it, you know like I could buy a bottle of the first one but it mm -hmm. might like just kinda like sit there for a long time. Whereas like, B, I'd actually, or the second one, I actually like just drink it on a consistent basis. Fun challenge trying to figure it out. Um, yeah. And there is some value to that because this is maybe the most puzzled I've been <clears throat> in how many videos we've done. But, um, man, I feel like you put that up against like all the other stuff. Like, I don't know how this would rank high. It's not bad. I just feel like it was kind of generic. It's like, <clears throat> to me, it tastes like if you watered down a Balcones and watered down a, like, Maker's Mark, it's like 46, and then combine them. You just get that, like, slightly cinnamon icing cake of, uh, uh, for me anyways of uh, makers and then it also had that plum fruit note of balcones if I remember correctly mm -hmm. but it's not like you can because like both of those were stronger in both of those flavors so it's not really like you combine it's like you combine them and then watered it down a little let's do worst to best okay that's what I figured it would be 
you know, for for someone who's the bourbon, like this is their type of bourbon, this product would probably, you know, be screaming their heads off at us. What are you talking about? Earthy, cinnamony stuff is amazing. Okay. Pepperminty stuff. The unanimous worst is Wyoming single barrel. What the hell did you buy that for? <laughs> You'll see. Never heard of that before. I guess you're not going to the right Reddit forums, Cody. <laughs> okay. The second, the least, second to the middle one is Redemption Weeded Bourbon. And the winner tonight, Weller Antique. <clears throat> By a wide margin, based on our discussion. Yeah. This right here is an A Bourbon. Yeah, it was like pretty good. Um, like overall, um, it was a little too corny. Like for me, like I don't know. Whenever that's like the main flavor, I'm not like like it's. It can only be so good to me if it's like that's the main thing. But it was pretty good. I, mean, I, was, I, I like I we've had it before and wait. Which one we had the special reserve. We had right? special reserve. I will people, give this. People mm, like the antique quite a bit over yeah, a lot okay. of the other sh from them. But. Special reserve is so bland. For this to taste, this is a quite the transformation. I know it's it's an extra eight percent ABV. Hold on, I wanna I wanna I wanna put my my nuts on the table here. Okay, well that makes sense. Okay, well, we're gonna <laughs> thank you. you. Put your nuts on the table first. It's just the human body because because I was actually again I I impressed myself mm. for not being a complete jackass on this, <laughs> which I mostly am. But I did say I got like a pear e thing off of the one that I also got off of Eagle Rare. Buffalo Trace, both of them. Mm -hmm. And then for this one, I said it was like, it reminded me a lot of uh, the, you know, the bready, cakey from Makers 46. They're both weeded. Mm -hmm. So. Well, they're all weeded. Was the, was this well, theme tonight is reweeded. Your mom's like, Put weeded, it on. So put, suck my butt. Press reweed. So, so for someone like me, doesn't know what that means. What's a reweeded? Bourbon. A weeded bourbon is just a bourbon with a, with a high percentage of, of wheat involved. Usually it replaces rye, not always. Um, but uh, in this case, I'm by the way, I'm suspicious that Wyoming has an heirloom wheat in it or something like that. Um, something that's like a wheat that's only grown in Wyoming or something like that, which is why it tastes so odd. Um, so... That's part of the reason. I mean, that's, what, that's why the Wyoming comes in. That's, if you look up well-ranked weeded bourbons, Wyoming usually makes the list. Uh, you know. By the way, so it's 53% ABV on the, on, on the Weller, and I think it's 48% for the other two. So this, okay. these are not worlds apart in ABV, um, but the Weller does have an edge there, <laughs> and it tasted the part. For these both being 48, this one to me seemed higher ABV. But I pointed that out too, that that one was the hottest. Well, we all did. <laughs> I'm a genius. <laughs> Bow down. <sighs> so. Who really deserves the high-tech fridges around here? Um, yeah, so the well, the well Antique is a, a pleasant surprise. I think, I, I don't know, I, I, I don't know if you guys even remember, but I, the Weller Special Reserve has got to be one of the biggest letdowns I've ever tried. Weller Antique is, um, it shows up. Shows up to play. Ups the game and then some. I liked it compared to these for sure. Yeah. So it's pretty good. I like the um I was impressed with the I wish I got more of that um like I did with the Eagle Rare, that pear fruit. Like I I got it going back around compared to the other ones that mm -hmm. popped out, but like you drink it a couple times and then you don't really taste that anymore or I didn't. I wish there was more of that. Um more fruitiness instead of the corn and pepper and rye, but um, I was impressed with the mouthfeel on it. Yeah, definitely. It, it really did have a good mouthfeel. It had a lot of spice, a lot of heat, a lot of sweetness. It has a lot of the things you would pour in a bourbon, so definitely a full recommendation there. 
But I think this kind of still confirms that I'm just not as huge on wheat. But these were better than I think previous. No. Oh, shit, Adrian, you got that fridge with the ice dispenser and water dispenser? Mm-hmm. Living high over here. <laughs> I, I, I challenge you to get a fridge that doesn't come with that. High on the too. damn hog. <laughs> I didn't know I was in the presence of royalty with right? <laughs> you. Yeah. What can I say, boys? Look at that, Ricky. The king's water. <laughs> you get to partake. It even has a it's little weird. light underneath it so I can see the fanciness happening in real time. Cody, tell Adrian. Tell Adrian how early you had to wake up today. I woke up at 8.30 in the morning. <laughs> I wondered if both are zombies. I didn't particular. mean to wake up at 8.30, but... How does it feel to uh, live your life like the rest of us, Cody? <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably lower mine to B plus for that. Wow. I just... <clears throat> At least I can do it overall. <laughs> we're just we're just gonna let that happen, are we? Okay. Yep. Okay.